Yo, what's good? It's Eno. Today I'm going to talk about these shooting centers. Check out what we playing in this video. I got two gameplays for y'all to talk through. Both pretty, they're decent people while I'm out here testing this stuff out. And uh, I don't like shooting centers. I waited for this game to come out to be a shooting center and I'm finna stray away from it. You know what I mean? And just watch the gameplay, the things I'm going to talk about is going to show up in here. All right. So just watch it through and I'm just going to talk. So the first problem I have written down is glue hands. No, you did not just make that on me. That's what I'm talking about, bro. All right. But glue hands, bro. All right. That's a needed badge, which is crazy. I made this build with an 84.3. Shooting is not supposed to be an issue with this build, but it is because I don't have playmaking. Ooh, get that, that shit out of here, baby. But, because I don't have playmaking, which is wild. Why is my shooting affected by playmaking? Look how he catches this. He brings it down and then he comes up with it. That animation is so slow, bro. It's like that because of no glue hands. And that shit is so annoying. You can feel it, bro. You can feel it how slow he's pulling that shot off a catch with gold catch and shoot that was supposed to be all you needed to take a good shot now it's you need glue hands it's wild i hate it i hate it and i made him with like minimum arms to not worry about shooting you know and on top of that like this build i'm playing with uh cuz web his build has no bullet passer <laughs> you know he has a 25 pass accuracy out here so not only am i catching it crappy he is throwing it hella slow look how slow that pass was like i can't even shoot out of that you know what i mean that's why like you'll see me do that a couple times just not shoot because like it's so look how slow that is he usually they catch it and they can shoot it right away here he's catching it, bringing it back, turning around, and then he's shooting. That shit is so terrible. And now look at this. That leads me to problem number two. Finishing on a center is really not what you want. You know, you think you'd be able to get big body dunks every time, and you're not, especially on drives. Look at that D. Can't, can't ISO me. I'm a god. But you can't finish consistently. The interior defense is wild this year, right? And you saw that layup or dunk, whatever, easily contested. That's why that meta is to just go down, sit in the paint, and wait for the dude to jump. Because otherwise, you're going to get blocked and contested. As well, as a seven foot big, I began blocked by guards, six eight centers. I'll be on a standing dunk, or like you won't even let me dunk. The standing dunk actuation, like when it actually goes off, is terrible. You'll get more standing layups than a standing dunk. That shit is wild, which makes it useless. What do I have almost a 99 standing dunk for if he's mostly just going to do a standing layup? kind of annoying and he cannot score on the drive that's that one clip saw he's going to get blocked on the drive unless you just stop which is really really annoying yeah i guess it works your center just stop and get the standing dunk or layup is better chance than the drive but that's lame bro that's super lame well, what's my third problem yo so the first problem was no glue hands second problems Dunks and layups are not consistent. Ooh, ooh, game winner? You like that? Look at that. All right. That was an easy dub. Let me wait for this next game. I'll start the rest of my problems. Look at this guy. Get out of here. No one cares about your wrap up. All right. Next game. Who are we playing in this game? Let's see. Let's see. Hey. Yeah, yeah. So we have some good games this one, all right? Problem number three. Do that? No, I think we destroy these people too. But problem number three is that shooting bigs have no ISO defense. They're 
Oh, actually, after this game, right, we went to stage. And I kept getting iso like they were fighting for it, hitting the screen and forcing the switch. And then I would just get iso And like, if you have good, I missed that. Come on now. If you have good stick skill, you could play defense with this build because I have a 60 perimeter D. But people just run around and you cannot keep up with that. The whole ooh fade. Look at that. That's so bail out phase i love this build though but you can't play d you're a liability they're gonna iso you put you on an island and they're just gonna run around the court until you're too slow to catch up that is literally the whole comp scene Ooh, green a hey. see i took my time on that though because you i shoot so slow i'm not confident to shoot on this build because i can't get the catch and shoot like how i'm used to you know what i mean now you get no clamps on this build. You're too slow to defend ISO players. And it's just a liability. Like, why am I not shooting that? Because I don't have glue hands. I'm scared. I'm like, I'm get good contest. It's wild. It's really annoying. I'm like, this is kind of a rant. Because I'm really, I really wanted shooting bigs to be good this year. And we all thought they were. It is turning out. It's not going to work. So problem number four is that especially in stage people are running small comp lineups yo super annoying two iso locks both can dribble and they're just gonna iso the center like i said before there's no fix around that the only real fix is like hedging having a lockdown that could get through the screens and the center just has to edge hedge so he never has to play on the guard but then with two iso guards it doesn't matter they could just give the ball to the other player and make me guard him and you gotta do the switch and that's what people are doing now really annoying it really makes my center build ineffective defensively even though he's supposed to be here for defense but actually he's really like an offensive god i should have like you could like take down the defense going on the offense and just become an offensive god post shoot everything you know what i mean but the defense is just not it you just you need to be on threes or pro amp to have a shooting big really that's the only place they're going to be useful twos is not it i'm telling you stage is not it pro am wreck that is it i'm telling you and problem number five is that there's no fixes to fix this build yo i'm trying to play with it right now but once you put it to playmaking you got to cut back on defense. Like, I won't get my steal and my perimeter D like I wanted. And I felt like that was helping me because it's already hard to play defense. But with at least a 60, I could use my stick skill. You know, but I, I won't be able to do that if I have to lower it to like a 40 some, my steal to a 40 some to make sure I have my uh, 59 dribble for silver glue hands or what whatnot. And that now I'm, if I'm making it, I'm going to make it with at least 50 ball handle. And make sure he gets at least bronze quick first step if I'm gonna go into playmaking. But as I'm playing with this build right now, the playmaking, putting all that up, gives you two badges. Two. What am I putting on with two badges, bro? Bronze this and bronze that? Nah, like then I'm gonna have to up my pass accuracy to get more playmaking, or I'm gonna have to go to college to get that four plus. That might not even be enough badges for what I want on the build. So it's almost useless. You're gonna cut off to make playmaking, but you're not even gonna get that much playmaking for what you're putting in. It's not It's not worth it. It's really not. And it makes me sad. Yo, but that's the video. Please drop a like, subscribe, tell everybody do not make shooting bigs this year. Shit is dead, dead. All right, check out my next videos coming up. I'm trying to be a little consistent out here. All right, appreciate you watching. Have a good one. Peace.